It's the midweek massacre. You ever heard of an axe murderer right. running after you? Now ask yourself, it's a hazard to your health. The way your rhyme skins and mic fiends. We hope it over tracks like that of you with foes and light beams. <laughs> What's good, midweek massacre? This your boy Rich the Beast. Terror behind the camera, as usual. We uh he he chuck deuces like y'all can really see him behind the camera. Uh we're gonna give God the glory as usual. Quit dancing for me. <laughs> Uh, for love, everybody had ups and downs, good things, bad things. On this show, we got coming up, we got uh, the Jay Dilla tribute, yeah. And then we got a new artist, um, Levi Stress. So with that being said, let's get into the show. I Back, I right? deep concentration, stress mode. It goes out all area codes. I'm in the zone. Conceive notions. So we sitting here with Levi Stress getting to know exactly who Levi Stress is. He done told you about himself, where he's from. So, uh, what type of music do you do? What type of music do I do? I do boom bap, hip hop, and pretty you much what I, do, what I do with what I do with it. You know what I'm saying? Is um, since you know, like I said, you know, we talk about hip hop, then you know, the food comes in. So you know, it's just you know, it's all improv here. But back to what I'm saying, you know, which is very good food because people come here a lot. Yeah. But also, besides yeah. getting back to what I do, I do. Traditional boom bap hip hop, 90s style, you know, a lot of my favorite producers, Pete Rock, DJ Premier, the Beat Miners, you know, Eva D, Mr. Walt and all that, you know, I, I really like, you know, the basic five elements of the game, you know, I know that it's 2014 and, you know, the times are changing that you gotta adapt to the change, but also at the same time too, you gotta know where you're from and you gotta be what you do, you can't be 39, 40, 41 years old out here trying to sag your pants and be 22 and acting like you tiggle, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You got to do what you do. You know, a lot of cats be trying to tell me, no, you need to change up. You need to do this. Why are you still doing that? Why are you still doing that? I came from that. That's where I came from. I came in like that and I'm going to walk out like that. So, you know, people who like it, that's cool. But if you don't like it, you know, you can turn the station because I'm going to still do what I got to do, you know? And that's just giving the people the true essence of the hip hop culture and the music, beats, rhymes, and life, like Tribe said. That's it. Man, that's real, and that kind of brings me to my next question because I want to ask what type of mindset do you get in when you get ready to put your music together? What inspires you? What inspires me? What inspires me? A lot of things inspire me. You know what I'm saying? You know, basically, the main thing what is inspiring me now is just basically knowing the history of the music, knowing the history of the music, and and basically cultivating that and bringing that to who wants to be able to embrace it. You know, I mean, I know, like you were saying last time, that you have to side a little bit this here, side a little bit of that in. You can, that's cool, but you also have to be able to bring the core to them because. If you slide a little bit this in and then you go that route, that's cool. But we want to be able to bring it to where they have that. So if I, if you can feed them two or three or four in a row, maybe slide one in there. But you slide two or three or four in a row and get the mindset back. Because the mindset is so based on industry and corporate and top 40 and commercial. 
that if we put that there, they might re they might remember maybe two to three of the traditionals, but the one that they're gonna remember the most is the one that's popular that you're gonna play. I don't, when they walk away and go back to the bar or whatever, what you've done in your set or something, they're gonna remember that song that had the trap or the bounce in it, but they're not gonna remember that crisp boom bap in that in the background. Gotcha. That's why we have to bring that back. Gotcha. So bring some boom bap to the trap. You know, when you're out there trapping, have a block party and you know, get your boom bap on in the trap too. Yeah. You know, it's a place for all. Exactly. Look, you getting it right here, Midweek Massacre. I'm DJ Stones, like I said, holding it down for Reach the Beast. We interviewing Mr. Levi Stress. And uh, we'll be right back after this with more of Levi Stress. Are you looking for an alternative experience on the internet? Tired of garbage gossip sites and repetitive stories about reality TV? Well, Wandering Eyes is the page for you. Here you can catch up with stories that are entertaining, inspiring, and thought-provoking. Featuring art, music, culture, politics, and more. WanderingEyes.Webly.com Sit over there looking like you can kiss somebody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With this fool being a nut behind the camera, we finna bring in the video by Don De Niro called Cheat On My Girl. Yeah, he did a video called Cheat On My Girl. Uh, Shawty, I hope you ain't watching this. Hey, baby. You make a whole lot, mommy. Doing shit right now. I'm gonna be home in a minute. Promise. Promise. Listen, don't keep no. Yeah. Jose Cash, my sweet music. Alino! You can shot me. You gonna have to bump Ooh, this, man. Dog the narrow for president. Yeah. Swiss candy, it's Jose Cash, I was these shot of brandy, ladies in bikini, everything sandy, esa tipa que me excita, yo la conozco, es la jevita, bien chulita, que me tiene loco, but she don't know that I'm eyeing that, don't ask me if I'm up, make me eat the bobo. Killing them, baby. Hit after hit, keeping it waving. Swag on the Spanish, you're a gazillion. Took her on a date, no, spent a million. She said she was Mexican with a touch of Brazilian. I told her I was Cuban, but they think I'm Sicilian. So 
This your man DJ Stones back, midweek maskers going down. We here with Levi Stress up in Cafe Coco, where it goes down. Alright, so uh Levi man, a lot of people think just because you are an underground artist that you won't gain any success unless you got that major machine behind you. Is that true? You I'm gonna tell you, to be honest with you, you can gain a, a good living. But the thing about it is, you gotta get out, you gotta grind, and you gotta and, and you gotta tour, man. But the thing about it is, having money behind you to do that is a key element. Like you can be underground and indie and still be successful, but you have to have some sort of finances behind you, someone backing you, or some sort. You can do the guerrilla touring, but. As much as you get from them shows, as much as you're gonna be able to get from one city to the next city, you know what I'm saying? Like if you if you have you know some type of backing you, for you, you know, for yourself, you know you you can you know you get a couple like maybe five to ten thousand. You can go and you can do like 30, 40 city tours, something like that. But trying to you know do it guerrilla tactics, you might do 15, 20 city tours. But by the time you get back to Nashville. You might not have but like 50 or 60 bucks in your pocket when you might have had, you know, maybe three or four hundred if you had someone backing you. So it, it's tough. You can do it, but it's tough. And then plus you gotta look at, you know, what you, you know, your CD sales when you're on the road. You have to look at your gas, you have to look at your food, you gotta look at, you know, your, your, you know, what, your hotel, all type of expenses. You don't know what can happen on the road. You might, bad weather, you might, Anything can happen, so all that comes to effect, you know. So it's good to have a good team around you. You gotta have a good team too. That's another thing. As an underground indie artist, that's why I love about Die Tribe, man, because it's twelve of them, man. Them brothers, man, they all got each other's back and stuff, and that's like you know, it's bigger than Voltron, and that's what that's what you have to have nowadays, man. Because trying to do it by yourself, it's rough. It's really rough. I'm, I'm just be straight up, man. Keep it funky with y'all. It's rough, you know. Straight up. I know. Hey, you heard it right here. It's hard out here. So, for the people who say that boom bap hip hop is dead, what do you say to that? It ain't dead. It might be, it, 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 you know, it, it's not dead. It might be laying down, but it's going to get revival because when everything everyone's doing, you're not going to be able to do that for so long. Everything is like a 360, it's like 360, man. Might, it might have started from here, got all this going around, but it's going to come right back to that point again. So, you know, you got guys out here that's doing it, you know, you know like Joey Badass, you know what I'm saying, Earl Sweatshirt, you know, Tyler the Creator. I mean, you got cats out here that's, that's doing that, you know, Elzai, they're big, you know, they got that, bringing that back around, because, you know, you can't, you know, you can't do it this stuff for so long until you, you gotta get back to your core and your essence man because that's what keeps a culture revised by by always bringing in the cycle if you stay too out you get break you go too far out and you don't come back around you know you lose certain cores of your element and you have to always come back and bring it back home to where, where you start from you, you don't know you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you started from that's just that's the that's the saying, that's the model that I go by and that's what my mom told me. And I've lived by that, I stick by that. Hey, that's real there. That's real there. Look, we got a word from our sponsors coming up real quick. We'll be right back.
Are you looking for an alternative experience on the internet? Tired of garbage gossip sites and repetitive stories about reality TV? Well, Wandering Eyes is the page for you. Here you can catch up with stories that are entertaining, inspiring, and thought-provoking. Featuring art, music, culture, politics, and more. WanderingEyes.Webley.com This next segment is for DJ Dilla. We did it at a club anthem. It's for his little tribute. Um, pay our respects. Josh one, rocking on. Uh, bounce. Jay Dilla Tribute, we got the Die Twin okay. City, we got the Nashville, 615, yo man, House of Wax, DJ Stone was on the ones and twos, killing it a while back, you know what I'm saying, you know, DJ Gina's son, yo, E.T., Alvin, you know, hey, Mike Sick, yo, ATL is in the building, we all in the building, you know what I'm saying, so yo, I just don't know what to say, man, this is beautiful, Yo, big up, rest in peace to Jay Dilla, Dilla Dog, Die Torch City, Shy City, Music City, we active. Alright, uh, this is your boy, I Am Cross, live at Anthem Nightclub, downtown Tennessee. Uh, DJ Gina Sutton put this Jay Dilla, you know what I'm saying, this Jay Dilla tribute on. I Am Cross, DJ Stones, Terror, Reach the Beast, we in here. <laughs> Jay Dilla tribute, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dope DJs down here, man. About to have a little open mic. Yeah. A little cypher. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Go back, Siri. This finally led to this moment of me spitting, spitting, and that's a written. Please forgive me. Who really want the mic? Will you take me off me tonight? Let me be very clear that this is not a battle, okay? This is an event of love. This is an event of hip hop of positivity. So this is an opportunity for you guys to just come up here, do your thing. We got set J, y'all set killer, J, you know, J, you know, we got set drill, y'all say still, drill, drill, we got set two, y'all say pop, two. Getting to know Mr. Levi Stress a little better and everything, you know. He been telling us, you know, where he's from, a little of his motivations and, and where he see the state of hip hop right now. And uh, I want to ask you, I mean, is there anything outside of hip hop that you're involved with? Oh man, yeah. I um, I, I I love doing charity work. You know what I'm saying? You know, I did some work. You know. Love with events of Miss Gina Sutton now. Yeah. Know, Shout out to Miss Gina. DJ Gina. With the, uh, the toy drive and everything about that. So, you know, but I just love doing 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 like things like that to help my out my community. I did I was a real big community activist when I was in Chicago and stuff. Like when I was uh, helped out kids, you know, did some did, um, did some tutoring, did mentor mentorship down on the low end. And I did some up on the north side, and I did some in the suburbs, with especially with kids out in you know, out in high school where I was at. And when I went back to teach, I taught you know, to eight in that class too. So you know, I, just, I did a lot. Of, I did a lot of things like that. I love you know doing marketing promotion, any any type of you know 
event that's, you know, that I feel like, you know, well, not much, I feel like, but I think that, you know, leave that type of press, I'm, you know, we been with that too. You know, production wise, I mess around with pizza every now and then. Haven't been able to do it too much, but, you know, like I said, I do that. You know, pretty much, you know, visionary and a pretty good dude that if you need advice or just someone to talk to, you know, I'm your man, you know. I try to be there for people as much as I can, you know, so I can, you know, try, man. We, we all out here with artists who struggle, you know, like I said, man, we, we out here trying to make a difference, man. Try to make the world a better place. Man, that's real. That's real. I mean, I couldn't have said that no better myself. Well, I mean, well, you know, this is a good guy. I mean, you see it. So, where can we support you? Where can man. we get your music, man? How can we check for you and keep keep your thing going? Man, dude. I'm going to first give up, like I said, www.lstress.com. That's like, you know, that's the main website. I've had it up going on like five, six years now. Maybe six years I've had that going on. So, you know, had that popping. Um, my other site is www.songcastmusic.com slash profile slash Levi. You know what I'm saying? That's another site. You know, that's the site where I actually can pick up a new album for an artist that touches on my soul, which is out on iTunes, Amazon. You know, Rhapsody, Napster, if Napster is still available, I don't think it is, e Music, Spotify, you know, pretty much all the majors, you know, that's pretty much where you get it. I'm going to get physical copies in February, then I'm going to start working on the new record, 360, you know, the end of evolution. So, you know, I'm going to get that going, and, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna say, like I said, I, I don't, I might not come out with music, you know, precisely like drop, 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 drop. I don't want to be that type of dude. I'm at, I'm at the, you know, stage in my life right now where if I'm gonna put something out, I want the, I want to be at my pace and at the rate where I know it's gonna be good, close to classic. I'm trying to drop a classic. Sometimes everything ain't classic, but if you get close or a classic, that's it. That takes time. You don't drop classics within two or three weeks. It takes time for that. So, you know, and then it can stand the test of time. So when you're dead and gone, I'm still listening to you. And also top of that before I go too, I'm on songcastradio.com um, also, Songcast Radio, which, you know, I got songs off of fine arts that's getting spins worldwide. I get spins in Spain, I get spins in Italy, I get spins in Finland, I get spins in Colombia, Brazil, Russia, the whole nine yards. So, you know, I mean, you know, we're international and we don't even know we're international. He's going but, in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going in like Flynn, you know, so, you know, like I said, but that's, you know, you just, just, just it's out there, the music's out there, so just keep it out. That's, that's, that's it. Another one for the books. No pun intended. <laughs> and, then, and I got I got one more thing to say too. Shout out to Nashville hip hop. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying that's that's like 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 my man Jake said, man. Everyone that's out here doing their thing, keep doing their thing, keep grinding, keep hustling. And you know what I'm saying? We build, we build, we, you know, we build from within. But to get to keep the building going. We have to sometimes elevate and build from outside too. So you know, we have to be receptive to everybody from if they're in here or if they're not from here that are coming in here. And we have to take everybody in this family because those people can come in and they leave, and if people give them what what was the, what was it like being there? What's what what was it seen like? What's everything going on? And they're like, you know, this is what went down. And you get a good vibe, that's gonna get them artists out there. Artists that like you know be good a chance are out there, but you get other the inner core out there more and get everyone some exposure that they need and they well deserve because they work hard, you know what I'm saying? They work hard, so you just gotta make it you just gotta grow and elevate, you know what I'm saying? And also too, man, I got my homeboy from the Die Tribe plan, you know what I'm saying? You know, Bring it, you know, he's gonna say a few words for y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know, Steve I stress, man, you know, H O dub, you know what I'm saying, Cycle Productions, we active. Hey man, check check out Levi, man, he's a good artist. 
I, I really ain't got nothing to say except for that, man. He's a good, he's a good dude. I kicked it with him quite a few times. Got some awesome songs out there. Stays active, stays working. Got a, got a, a heart full of love that's just glowing, man. And that, I think that's gonna take him farther than anything else. That's what it do. Midweek massacre. We out, baby. Woo! Every employee, a manager, and. Are you looking for an alternative experience on the internet? Tired of garbage gossip sites and repetitive stories about reality TV? Well, Wandering Eyes is the page for you. Here you can catch up with stories that are entertaining, inspiring, and thought-provoking. Featuring art, music, culture, politics, and more. WanderingEyes.Webly.com You guys all from Nashville? I am, yeah. I don't know. He grew up very well. Yeah. 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 All right, whenever you're ready, man. You rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. I'm always rolling. What up, what up Nashville's chicks, man? Uh, pulling it down at Coco's and chicken wings to about football. Oh, I can't cuss on TV, can I? There you go. We'll beat it out. Yeah, I was on uh, the radio the other day and just. I was uh, I had to have a cuss jar so I wouldn't swear. <laughs> Dirty mouth. Uh, big ups. To Big ups to Nashville hip hop, everybody holding it down, um, doing their thing, following their dreams. Um, just keep doing, doing what you're doing. Live your dreams. Don't just keep them dreams. Talk about them. Do them. Make them happen. Um, keep pushing. I'm living mine. I know these guys are trying to live theirs. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Um, all right, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah.